this is election day and I hope that everyone that is eligible to vote, they've either already voted or they're voting today. Um, and I know right now there's a lot of stress, anxiety um, going around for today and the next couple of days to come. So I just wanted to give you some reminders and pointers again on how to maneuver throughout these days. If you haven't already watched, I have some videos posted on my IGTV as well as YouTube. That is um, one of them I call tree meditation, uh, which is a good grounding meditation. That's the one that I'm wearing a yellow shirt. And I start by tapping all over the body and then um, walking you through a tree meditation. Again, really helpful in grounding your energy and um, releasing stress and anxiety. So a lot of my clients love that. Try it if you liked it. You know, give me a like or leave a comment. I would appreciate it. Um, there's also one for the throat chakra. And that one I'm wearing actually exactly same sweater and um, that one also helps relieve stress um, that you're holding in your throat area throat chakra um, it starts out by reminding you to scream into a pillow or blanket or just screaming out loud a lot of my clients like that one they use it in the car and they scream um, but it also gives you other ways to release what you're holding in your throat chakra. So that one to try it out and see how you like it. These two are um, favorite for my clients. And um, there's also another one that I go through uh, teaching you an energy cleanse. And then uh, um, I go through the different sound bowls. So that one is just a good relax relaxing one that you can listen to the different sound bowls, maybe lie down and um, just let the sound move through you. So try any of those three and um, any of it that you like, um, just leave a comment or whatever you like. Um, I also wanted to talk about that um, right now, um, again, during this stressful time, um, there's a lot of um, fighting between the different parties, different people, and um, everyone is concerned about one party winning over the other one, how things are going to play out. Um, so I wanted to remind you, this is a good time to not think about things that are happening in your life, the reality of life in terms of good or bad, right or wrong, but rather in terms of light and shadow, that both light and shadow are needed in our life. Um, if you think about artwork, um, you need that light and shadow to be able to um, see the full impact of the artwork um, when you're just for us to be able to walk and maneuver through you know if there are things in front of us the way that we see it is because of the light and shadow that we can find a perspective to move around objects and be able to walk if we didn't have the light and shadow uh, we couldn't do that so both light and shadow are needed in our lives and um, again it's the concept of yin and yang duality um, which is needed for us to be able to see things clearly and be able to choose which way we want to go which direction we want to take what feels better to us and in, if you start looking at it in terms of that and look at it as needed then it allows you a better way to come to peace, come to terms with what's happening and be able to maneuver um, through the different times in your life where maybe there's more shadow than light. And um, when you see that that shadow is needed, is serving a purpose for you to see something about yourself, see something about your environment, to bring about change, 
then it's easily accepted. Um, if we take the example again of coronavirus, I know that it had a lot of impacts on people's lives. There were a lot of people that lost their lives. There was a lot of changes that happened. And alongside those things, there was also um, things that there were more families that got to be more together. The family um, basis got changed because people started spending more time together, eating together. There were um, just environmental aspects. There was a lot of positive, good changes that happened in terms of um, cleaner waters, cleaner air. So start looking at things in terms of light and shadow in order to help you throughout this time. Um, we are all part of a collective. There's a collective that you have um, in your friend circle, family circle, then there's a community energy collective. And that energy collective gets bigger and bigger in terms of your city, state, in terms of uh, your country, and then gets bigger and bigger in terms of the whole planet. Um, coronavirus was more of a result of a planet energy collective of all of us humans on the planet and this election also is part of the bigger collective of the what is happening in the u.s and what has been happening in the u.s up until this point so it's not it's showing us the past four years were for purpose and whatever happens today, it's for purpose. It needs a clearing, a cleaning needs to happen. Coronavirus came of all those things. Yes, people lost lives. Those things that happened weren't so good, wasn't great. A lot of lives were impacted but it was also a necessary cleansing for the planet, for the environment, for changes that need to happen, not just in our lives, but also in the bigger picture uh, in the way we live our lives. So, and the past four years were necessary to bring a lot of things that were hidden, and needed to come out and now hopefully this will be the time to cleanse those things if there is more cleaning that needs to happen then that's going to come to surface as well but um fortunately unfortunately depending on how you look at it change is a necessary part of our life our physical life here and with that change again the water cannot stay stagnant it cannot stay in one place if that water doesn't move it gets gross and disgusting and uh, you need to start moving that water which means all that disgusting stuff needs to come up in order for you to take it out and clean it and for you to have the fresh water you need to filter it that gunk that dirt needs to be filtered out in order for you to get the clean water. So, or the water needs to start moving in any shape or form for it to get clean. Um, so when you look at it in terms of that and bring that energy into your life and look at the bigger picture that way as well, change is necessary and what's been hidden needs to come to surface in order for the change to happen, the cleaning to happen, the clearing to happen, the healing to happen. Um, so keep that in mind, no matter how things progress today, the next couple of days, keep that in mind. And also, Again, it's very important for all of us because we are part of the collective, uh, different collectives. And 
what kind of energy you're bringing into that collective. Um, so the more you clean and clear out your energy so that your energy is more represented of what you desire in your own life and you bring that out into the collective as well. So again, um, you all know this, but it's worth repeating. If you want more peace in your life, you need to find peace in yourself. If you want more love in your life, you need to start with yourself and love yourself first. Um, if you want happiness, kindness in your life, you need to start being kind to yourself and happy with yourself. And um, it is much harder to bring kindness and happiness and love and peace in the outside of your life if you don't have it inside because that inside is what is getting projected back at you and it's what what you're seeing and experiencing is for you to get a better picture of what's happening inside of you so the more of us find peace joy happiness and love in ourselves the more we can bring it out into our life into our communities and into a bigger collective um, so just wanted to give you some reminders and hopefully you can use that throughout today next couple of days and your life however you're choosing to take this journey and um, again take some time look at the other videos um, that talk about different um, exercises and just to add a couple more um, exercises I've talked about this in other videos one of the good ways to um, bring out stress and anxiety as well if you want to breathe um, while holding both of your wrists that um, helps bring out your anxiety and while you're doing it maybe just repeating in your head that all is well I'm safe all is well um, and keep repeating it and breathing and the other one is either um, having your hands um, under your armpits and holding it like this or you can even do it with um, hugging yourself or just one hand hugging and one hand as if you're rocking yourself and again just this motion taking a couple minutes two three minutes tops um, breathing and closing your eyes and just saying i am well all is well everything's okay just reminding yourself so that brings on the stress and anxiety so either this motion or this motion and if the rocking bothers you you don't need to to add the rocking but for most people i found the rocking helps um, or just uh, hugging yourself and doing it and if you're in a in, outside and you can't do any of those um, you can just hold both wrists and just sit um, as you're walking sitting that also helps as well uh, if you have any questions comments go ahead leave me um, a comment on this video or dm me um, i wish you all well i hope that um, you all find peace in your lives and daily activities and routines. Giving you all a big hug, much love, and talk to you soon. Bye.